I'm gonna tell you exactly who's in your competitor showroom, who's on their lot, and who's doing business with them. But I'm gonna take it even a step further. Hi, I'm Samantha Cunningham Zavolinski, and this week in Hard Facts, I wanna give you all of the details on how you can conquest better. What if I told you I could give you all of the information about who is in your competitor showroom, who's shopping their lot, and contemplating doing business with them? Would that be of interest to you? Well, why wouldn't it? It would give you all of the information to be able to create a better strategy, targeting customers not only you know are in market, but you know are actively shopping. And that's exactly what GeoPixel does. GeoPixel allows you to create a radius around multiple businesses, allowing you to capture the information about customers who are at that location. The benefit of this is not only are you capturing the information about that individual, but you're also capturing over 300 data fields about them. Whatever information we can, we collect. And then by capturing that information, you can create such targeted conquesting strategies to be able to get their business to be yours. Now, what if you could do this for one, two, or three competitors? I tell you, that's pretty lame, because I can do it for up to 12 competitors of your business, and honestly, we can even do more than that. So think about all of the opportunity that you could capture if you were talking to all of the customers in a 30 mile radius of your business. Or maybe your business area is even larger than that and you wanna conquest all businesses within the state. You can collect all of that information by creating a radius around each of the businesses that you're interested in conquesting. But what do you do with that information? Let's create a strategy. When we're creating the strategy, we know the way we acquired these customers is by having created a geographic area in which we were collecting data within. So being your competitors, showrooms, businesses, whatever that area may be defined as. Now, one thing you'll want to identify is the messaging that you're going to supply this audience with. So think about the types of business your competitors do. Do they have the same products, the same services? Are you interested in conquesting the entire opportunity or just one segment of it? The reason I say this is, for example, if we're talking about an automobile dealership, are you interested in only going after people who are interested in purchasing a vehicle? If so, your content may only lean that way. However, you know by conquesting the radius around their business, you're going to be getting customers who are likely interested in both sales and service. So will your content serve both profit centers? That's a decision you need to make. So now that we know what we're going to say to them, how are we going to get it out there and where are we going to put our messaging? Well, let's take it even a little bit further in the segmentation. Aside from what our messaging is going to be, how are we going to utilize all of this data that we've collected? It's great that we know customer X and customer Y and client B and client C have been on our competitors' lots. However, you're collecting so much more information, let's use it. So comb through all of the data fields that you have access to and find out what you're going to be not only the most robust, but the most beneficial. So for example, if you wanted to find out the make, model, and year of the current vehicle that customer drives, you could do that. Use that as how you're going to segment your audience. Maybe you wanna to talk to people who own a vehicle that is 2015 and newer in one way and 2014 and older in another. Or maybe you'd rather target people with messaging based on their lifestyle, their credit score, what kind of charities they're interested in, do they own pets, do they have kids, who knows, the possibilities are endless. But you need to figure out how you're going to segment the list. And the reason you need to do this before you even talk about platform or you talk about creative is because it's going to impact each of those. So if you're going to say, I want to talk to people that donate to animal charities, well, use animals in your creative. Get specific to the audience you're using so when you're on different platforms, that creative captivates them, pulls them in, and shows them your message. So now when you think about where you're getting this message out, I'll give you a couple of places to start. The first one is going to be anywhere you can create and upload a custom audience list. So customer match, for example, or custom audience lists are going to allow you to take this segmented list of customers or potential customers and upload them to serve them ads. Social sites, display networks, all have these capabilities for you. So that's starting point number one. Starting point number two, because we have their email address, is going to be an outbound email campaign. 
knowing how you're segmenting your list, the conversation you're having with them, and the call to action are all going to be incredibly important. And in this example of GeoPixel, we've used some automotive examples. A study done by Southeast Toyota dealers determined that 53% of customers purchased 90 days after they sent an initial inquiry. So if we're tracking the footfall of a specific automotive dealership, your campaign for this email marketing, as well as the length of time for your social or display campaign, needs to be more than just 30 days. If you think about that potential window to capture and do business with that customer. So when you're thinking about launching a GeoPixel strategy, why not conquest with the actual footfall of your comp competing business's information? In addition to that, make sure you have a goal, a strategic message to be able to convert those customers to do business with you. A couple of tools and strategies to help you conquest even better. But if you have questions about how to implement this for your business or how to get this piece of technology, utilize the phone number on screen, the email address, or even shoot me a DM. I'd be happy to show you exactly how this technology could work for your business. And that's it. That's this week's episode of Hard Facts. See you next week.